So ET is a disorder of the bone marrow in which so your bone marrow is where you normally produce your platelets, um, but in ET, essentially the bone marrow loses the normal controls that the body puts on it and starts producing platelets when it shouldn't do. Um, and the risks of that, so people have a high platelet count, which might come to attention because they have a blood count for an unrelated reason, they might feel completely well, or it can cause them problems because having a high platelet count can put you at risk of having blood clots or sometimes bleeding. In the longer term, sometimes, unfortunately, a minority of patients can go on to develop more serious blood cancers, so myelofibrosis or acute leukaemia, which can cause more serious problems, and whereas other people with, um, with ET can have, can have significant symptoms, but some of them will have a relatively normal life expectancy. In terms of the treatments, um, we often recommend aspirin, which is a drug that doesn't reduce the platelet count, but stops them, stops platelets working so effectively um, and reduces the risk of um, running into trouble with blood clots, for example. We always recommend that um, people have all of their other risk factors for cardiovascular disease managed really well, so someone checking their blood pressure, checking they don't have diabetes or looking after their diabetes, checking their cholesterol, and simple thing is just making sure they're getting plenty of exercise, looking after their weight, making sure they're not smoking. All of those things are really important for looking after people's blood vessels. And then a proportion of people will also recommend some treatment to reduce the platelet count. That's typically people either over the age of 60 or people who have had a blood clot or some kind of bleed in the past or people with a very high platelet count. And those people we normally recommend some kind of treatment to bring the platelet count down. And there are a number of different drugs that we use which really depend on the individual's age, other medical problems, what kind of side effects they might be concerned about, whether they're prepared to take injections. So there's a, there's a number of different options available. There are things that we do well and things that we do less well. Uh, I think there's a lot of there are a lot of untreated symptoms out there, um, and a lot of symptoms that we don't understand that well. Symptoms uh, such as fatigue that we hear a lot about from patients that we don't necessarily know how to treat very well and that we could probably try and treat better perhaps with different drugs. I think the other perhaps area of need in, in ET is that we don't really have drugs that change the underlying disease very well. So we have ways of trying to reduce the risk of vascular events, so the risk of blood clots or bleeding, but we don't really have drugs that stop the disease turning into nastier forms of, of blood diseases, so myelofibrosis or leukaemia. And what we'd really like to be doing is, is developing new drugs that can actually change the disease um, within the bone marrow and stop it causing those longer term problems for patients that are life shortening um, and cause, cause much, more, much more problems in the long term. I think it's important for loads of reasons. It's fantastic to get people together in the same place, get people talking, allow people to meet other people who are sharing the problems that they are, that they are living with. So a fantastic way for patients to meet each other. Um, and to, these are not common diseases, so for people to meet other people that are sharing the problems that they're living with. I've got to say it's great as a doctor to hear from patients about what, often to hear what they're living with as well. Um, and to, for those patients to be able to feel that they're meeting the experts and to really be able to ask the questions in a very friendly and open environment. Perhaps to bring their families and uh, enable their families who can't always come to clinic because it, it's in the middle of the week to come and get a bit more information and feel like they're better informed. And also, you know, what a fantastic opportunity to be able to live stream this around the country and really get the messages out there for people who can't necessarily be here in person. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity.